What's going on guys? I uh, just got back from GameStop. Uh, went there because I saw a deal online where if you traded in one of your games from a list of like, it was like 25 different games, uh, you got the division for 35 bucks pretty much, like 34.98. And since I was able to trade in like three other games with it, uh, I ended up getting the division for only, I doubt the camera will even pick it up, but or, oh yeah, I guess it will pick it up. About 14 bucks. You know, not bad if the camera will focus back on me now. Focus. Make it focused. Uh, so yeah, 14 dollars total. Um, I also need to go and renew my uh, power-up card. So yeah, picked up the Division. Got it for Xbox One, um, even though I just got a PS4 because I don't want to play it alone and this is what pretty much all my friends online have it for so I already went ahead and broke the seal just so I didn't have to fumble around in the video with it so the front I'm sure everybody's seen this by now um, it comes with uh, exclusive hazmat gear set at the bottom of my finger also requires internet because that's always been really good in the past um the side i know a lot of people like to see this spine um it says when society falls we rise in the wake of the de devastating uh pandemic that sweeps into new york sorry it's really tiny uh, basic services fail one by one, and without access to food or water, the city quickly descends into chaos. As an agent of the division, uh, you'll specialize, modify, and level, level up your gear, weapons, and skills to take back New York on your own terms. That's what the back looks like there. Uh, it is a one-player game, um, because it's an always online game, so you're always playing on the internet with other people. Um, says it has a living open world, which that's not what I saw on the alpha or the beta. Uh, explore the city, build your base of operations, and find the source of the virus. Modern military RPG. Defeat brutal enemies by leveling up and acquiring new gear, skills, and weapons. And immersive multiplayer. Immersive. Uh, battle players for epic loot. Epic loot. Okay. Or play co-op with up to three teammates. And like I said, one player game, stuff like that. So you open it up. This is what you get inside. Disc over here. As if you couldn't tell what a disc is. Flip it for you. Over on the other side, however, you get a week seven a seven day Xbox Live Gold trial. And you get your uh Exclusive hazmat gear set, which comes with, <clears throat> it doesn't even say, it just shows pictures of it. Uh, basically, a gun and bag and clothes for your in game character. And, uh, yeah, so awesome. Awesome, awesome. Um, so, the Division, Xbox One, don't ask me why I didn't get it on PC. Um, you should know by now why I didn't get it on PC because of that little logo right there. So, um, since I've picked up a PS4, I've picked up a few games for it, um, besides what you see behind me here, uh, that I haven't unboxed, and I thought this would be a good time to do that real quick. So, uh, this game right here actually isn't mine. I'm borrowing it right now. Um, but I am going to pick up MLB 16, the show when that comes out uh, later this month. But there's the front of the box, the spine, upside down, I apologize. And then the back. And then the inside, it just has the control scheme. Um, the disc is actually in there, so I can't show you that one. This one I actually ordered off Amazon because it was only $15. But it's Shadow of Mordor Game of the Year Edition. Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, sorry. 
Uh, it includes the Bright Lord campaign, the Lord of All or Lord of the Hunt campaign, and all released ruins, skins, warband missions, and challenge modes. Or 50 Game of the Year awards. Um, yeah, that's the front, the spine, and the back. Um, unleash the power of the Wraith. Bend Mordor to your will. An epic tale of revenge and redemption. Uh, I picked this up on PC back when it was like brand new still. And I loved it. Um, ended up buying the season pass for it on PC. And then when a friend of mine had a PS4, uh, he picked it up on his PS4 and I was playing on my account. But I didn't play very much. I only played like 20 minutes. And uh, so I decided to pick this up to continue it. But only came to find out that your trophy and game saves don't carry over from the standard edition to the game of the year edition. And I really like that. That's awesome. Um, I wish that more games would do that. Honestly, if you're going to release the game of the year edition, do a whole new, you know... A whole new thing, whole new trophy list, whole new. It could be the exact same trophies, just give them to me in a different way. I'm a achievement whore and a trophy hunter. You know, it's that's an awesome thing to do. So the book, can't even remember if I showed you the disc or not. You open it up, it's just warnings and pictures from the game, and then right there in the middle, you have him with the orc skull, orc head, I guess. And then just more warnings and stuff, and that same picture on the back of the book. Um, just in case I didn't show you the disc. One thing that I noticed, though, is playing this game, the PS4 is very loud when playing this game. And only this game, not MLB, not Call of Duty. Um, actually, those are my only other physical games so far. But yeah, this game, like, the disc spins insanely loud with this thing. Um, so if you're going to play it, I, I recommend hooking up your headphones to the controller for sure. So I think that's it. Uh, I'm going to get the Division installed and hop on with some friends. See how far they are ahead of me since the game came out yesterday. And most people have been playing it since, like, 9 o'clock on Monday, so... Yeah. I do believe that that is it. Uh, I was going to trade in my Wii U uh, NES Remix pack until I got to GameStop and realized that Super Mario Maker was the disc inside there. So that was a, a no-go. I wasn't going to trade in Super Mario Maker. Uh, not for Definitely not for The Division. Um, it would take quite an amazing game for me to trade in Super Mario Maker. Especially since that's the game that I bought the Wii U for. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging in there. This autofocus is really biting the dust today. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more. I'll catch you guys later.